And finally guys, my new charger has arrived, actually two weeks ago. I've been using this for two weeks now and I thought, alright, let's make some review of it. So the reason why I got this charger in the first place is, if you follow me so far, then you know that I have my e-bike, which has a 14S uh, lithium-ion pack inside, which I conveniently split into two 7S packs, and I've been looking for some charger who can charge those 7S packs, as well balance them. So. Uh, Eventually I found uh, this charger at the Bagwood website and I make an order. So this is it. So this is anti-matter charger, 1000 watt, 30 amp. You can use this charger and charge as well balance uh, way up to 10S um, uh, lithium polymer, lithium phosphate and lithium ion packs. So that's pretty awesome. As well you can charge uh, nickel metal hydride way up to 25S, lead acid batteries to 36 volts, circuit power of the unit is 1000 watt, charge rate and this charge rate is up to 30 amps, so very powerful unit. Build quality is very good, it's all metal, you have uh, this huge uh, heat sink which goes through the whole unit, you get built uh, in a fan which is not always on, only with the unit uh, reach uh, around uh, 50 degrees. Input range is from 5 volt till 36 volts. You get this nice and thick uh, 12 gauge uh, silicon wire. On this side you have output ports, temperature sensor and balance port for 10 cells. And this unit came with this box. Inside the box you're gonna get the user manual, alligator clamps, balancing board, temperature sensor and a couple of cables. Only problem is with this cable you have to solder the connector yourself. They are pretty inexpensive and you can find them on Baggood website as well. I actually ordered this 4mm bullet plugs, DIN connectors and this XT60s. Alright, and one more thing I want to mention is the user manual which is pretty nice made and you have all necessary information about the charger. And I want to mention some special feature which this charger has. For example, this charger can be used as a fault cut drive. For example, in this mode the charger acts as a conventional uh, power supply for the hot wire foam cutter. So that means you can power this unit, for example, with this uh, alligator clips and you can put the wire, in, uh, the wire between the plus and minus and use this charger as a foam cutter. One more special feature is the electric motor test mode. So you can use the, this mode to run uh, uh, DC electric motors, test the motor parameters and performance, tolerance and so on. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, there is a, a perfect protection. Uh, this charger has a protection for reverse polarity, input output, uh, low input voltage, battery temperature, charging capacity, time overrun and so on. This charger has a 16 megabyte of flash storage which can log offline charge and discharge data in 36 hours. That's pretty awesome. You can use these chargers to test uh, battery internal resistance for lithium packs, that's cool. And one more thing, uh, yes, for using this 30 amps of discharging rate, you have to have some kind of uh, external uh, discharger as well. So some very nice features about this charger. Of course, I will not go into the full manual, which is pretty detailed. If you're interested about this charger, you can uh, look for yourself and uh, download the user manual on the internet and read it. Alright, for powering on this unit, I'm using this PC power supply, which I convert to work as a power source, and I made this connector on it. So you can eas easily just plug it right here. Let's see, the minus are here. Even if we missed, we have a protection, but why risk it? And the system checking and the program is there. Alright, I hope that you can see the screen nicely and I would just scroll fast to the whole settings so you can just see what it contains. Alright, and we're back to lithium battery. If we go inside you can see the balance charging, charging, fast charging, storage, discharging, discharging plus, cycle, and monitor. So that's the settings for the lithium battery. If we go back, nickel metal hard drive, I will just circle through the whole settings so you can see what it contains. Alright, nickel cobalt, again here I'll just circle to hold the settings so you can nicely see everything what it contains. 
if we go to settings, lithium battery, balance speed, fast, no fast, you have some options if you want to balance the cells, you can do the always, or you can choose the store voltage or phase, I choose the phase. Alright, again, sensitivity, so on and so on, the temperature, safety timer, capacity, so on and so on. Pretty nice. Here for example, if you wanna not charge your LiPo all the way to 4.2 volts, you can choose this and and uh, lower the voltage to 4 volts or let's say 4.1 and the maximum is 4.3 so you can choose for 4.3 or till 4 volt your charging lipo termination voltage so for example i use here around 4.15 just to save some uh, cells life so that's pretty cool all right if we go back i want to just show you quick the special mode that i talk about for example this special mode you can use to test a small dc uh, motors as well so you can use uh, these settings to test your motors you can use 3 amps maximum 50 volts you can choose the time right here so it's very easy to test how much this for example engine will take so if we just connect it right here and then we go to minus to plus look at this so if we start we can see how much this engine will take check this out so the voltage is rising uh, smoothly Alright, so now we know how much this small DC engine will take. So 50 watts with no load. Pretty cool. Alright, next one is this foam cut that I, uh, that I already mentioned before. And here you can measure the internal resistance of the LiPo packs. Alright, let's check some internal resistance pretty quickly. Use right there, and we connect. This is 4S uh, lithium pack. If we click right here, and here we can quickly see. So the total resistance of this pack is a uh, 14 milli ohms, and you can see here every cell. Uh, what's uh, what's the internal resistance of every cell? So six, four, one, three. Pretty unbalanced. Yeah, but that's what you get with the with the cheap X. Actually, this uh, battery is run pretty cool. But here you can definitely see what's the condition of every every uh, cells. What's the resistance of it? So pretty cool options. About the charging of these cells, let me just go quickly here. Let me just go quickly to lithium. This is a little no. Let's we balance cells. Here we can change to LiPo, balance 6 amps, like I said here you can use much more than 6 amps, I mean you can use 3 amps if you want. Let me just for, uh, for testing purposes, let me just go one time per 30 amp. 4 s pack, please check, let's see how much this battery will take. And um, what I like about this charger is the amps actually rise smoothly so there is no rapid like boof there so it goes smoothly up and look at this 12 amp 13 amp 14 15 16 17 and the cooler is not even full on this is only just a little bit but it's actually blowing pretty cool 
All right, so we see here now we are taking 25 amp into this battery 26 20 26.1 so this battery will take 26 amp of charging and you can see that this charger is capable of doing that without any problems fan are just on a little bit that's it so pretty cool yeah one more thing I want to show you I forget so when you're charging you can cycle this you can cycle and see what is the bolt on every cell as well you can go back see what's end voltage and you can see what is the input voltage and input power so that's pretty cool nice done alright that was a quick demonstration about the charging awesome of course if you wanna charge this at 3 amps I don't recommend it using this, this thin cables I mean this will get hot pretty fast so this was only for testing purposes that I using this uh, these thin cables and pushing almost 3 amps to it alright so don't do it you need the thicker cables but the charger is definitely capable of doing that alright so guys that was my a quick demonstration and review of the antimatter 1000 watt charger I think this charger is a great value for the money the build quality is awesome it has tons of power and some special feature so if you're interested about getting one I will leave links in the video description so you can check it out I hope that you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I catch you next time bye bye